Do the cobras or predators, do you feel scared? Do you feel... <laughs> I don't feel scared at all. Hello guys, it's Ben. I am back from vacation with another whiff statement on the league MLW, which has finally rounded off its season and now the teams and the fans, more importantly, can look forward to a very interesting upcoming postseason. So, what's a better time to discuss who I think is the best team currently in the MLW? But before we get into that, let me give two of announcements. First, if you guys want me to make a video discussing the entire playoff bracket and give my thoughts, then tell me in the comments and I'll get around to doing it. And if this video is made, it might come in the form of a podcast, which is something I've been thinking about starting for a while now, where every month I give my unscripted thoughts on a particular topic of our community, really bring up the uh, conversation factor of this channel, which I've been trying to do this summer, and it's been going very well thanks to your guys' comments. So if either of these ideas appeal to you guys, then l you know the drill. Just let me know in the comments. Alright, so, my favorite MLW team. Well, I'm going to start this off with a little caveat, and that would be distinguishing my favorite team from what I feel like is the best team in MLW. And the best team, in my opinion, is going to have to be the Eagles. Yeah, I'm surprised. About two months ago, I would have said the Mallards, but Daniel right now is on a mission. With 34 innings pitched this year and 8 wins, combined with his spectacular 362 batting average with 11 home runs, Daniel is having one of his best years yet and is looking to carry the Eagles onto another championship. And he fortunately has the help of Brendan Schultz, who has been a much more consistent starter this year than last, and he is hitting very well in key spots. And sure, Cratchit is not having a great year at the plate, but he's pitched well enough to give Daniel some innings off, and Clayton can still provide a hit every now and then, which overall I feel makes this squad a very well-rounded out team hitting-wise, and solid enough pitching to make a great run once again. However, while they may be the most rounded out team and the best team overall of the league I think on paper, they are by no means my favorite team. That title goes to the Predators. Yeah, the team that has never gone to the World Series, the team that has never had a winning season, yes, the Predators are my favorite team. This is going to sound like the most backhanded compliment ever, but God, I, I love teams that suck. Seriously, my hometown football team hasn't had a winning season in over 10 years, and I still watch them every year. But the underdog Predators deserve much more credit than they get, and here's why. Alec Warda is incredibly underrated. He's definitely one of the best hitters in the league, and this year he's finally got his form together on the mound, and has varied his delivery and pitch selection really well, and he's actually become a very solid pitcher. On the hitting side, Warda has 9 dingers, and Jack Igner has finally gotten the hang of hitting a wiffle ball, and while Brendan Russell is not having a great year, he has a very solid on-base percentage of 419 due to his 24 walks, and he has come up clutch a couple of times to add to the team total of 43 RBIs. And that's the key word, clutch. If you've been following the Eagles for a while, one of the best teams in the league throughout the years, you'll know that they are the Red Sox of wiffle ball. Whether it be a bad luck or just falling apart in a very key game, the Eagles up until last year had always found new ways to disappoint fans. But the Predators have hung in there and usually do something that's just mind-blowing and no one sees coming. Oh, it's center field! It is gone! It's gone! Oh my god! No way! Yeah, I would. Oh, yeah, I would just say that uh, Warner did a great job pitching. Uh, none of us really hit very well. My first hit happened to be a walk off, um, but that's that. So glad to steal at least one W from the Wildcats. But it was a great series. I mean, granted, the bar for them may be set very low, but lately they've always been coming up above that. Yeah, it's just that gut instinct. Sure, on paper, they're not the best team. Certainly not the worst, though. But it's just that playoff magic that they got going for them. And I'm definitely going to be looking forward to see how they do in their first series against the Cobras. But guys, those are just my thoughts. Who's your favorite team? Who's your playoff pick? Tell me below in the comments, as well as a yay or nay for the podcast and my bracket prediction video for MLW. Also, 
please subscribe here and leave a comment for more content from me. And if you've been enjoying my league's games and highlights, then you can follow us on Instagram. Link is in the description. Definitely going to finish our season strong, so stay tuned. And that's it from me, guys. Get out there and play some whiff or watch some MLW if it's raining. You know, that's always an option. Either way, I'll be seeing you guys on the next video. Have an awesome day. Goodbye. Rough series today. Mentally, we're not in it. We'll be back to the loss for sure. We're not losing a game in the playoffs. I'm saying that right now. Or I'm transferring back to Seahawks. <laughs>